Yo! Video games. Here we go. The works of Hayao Miyazaki. So, Master Street Fighter tier. <laughs> Hiditaka versus Hayao. Hiditaka. What did Hiditaka direct? All right. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> point is, point is, we're doing, we're doing the best. Chat, what, 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 does anyone here, be honest, who here would not know what MSF Miyazaki is? Chat, who, who here would, do, does not know what I'm gonna put in, in MSF rank? Me, okay. Some people don't know. No, we're not playing Metal Gear Solid. Just Master Street Fighter. <laughs> no way, I don't know. You... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't really see it from here, but there's, there's a fucking shrine going on over here for it. <laughs> a massive shrine. Constantly... Constantly playing with toys from it. <laughs> um, Master Street Fighter tier for Hayao Miyazaki. Fucking Castle in the Sky. Not even in doubt. Uh, my favorite recollection of this movie is comes from Max, and he doesn't he doesn't tell the story anymore. But like, <laughs> he. He was there the first time I saw this movie. And the way Max describes it is just like, yeah, we were all watching the movie. We were all really tired afterwards. We saw, I saw the movie first time in 2009, I believe. And we had just all as a collective group gone to see Up together. And I was like, oh man, Up was like the best fucking Pixar movie ever. And afterwards we were talking about like Pixar, which led to discussion of Ghibli. And then like Max was like, man, I can't believe you've never seen castle in the sky and then our friend was like oh i, I have it at my house want to go watch him like yeah let's go watch it so we go to his house to watch castle in the sky real late at night everyone everyone kind of crashes like by the end of the film except me but they're all we're all well enough like oh, just awake enough and i remember at the end of that movie movie fucking ends and and i just like that was the best fucking movie i've ever seen <laughs> and Max was just like, yep, like, I've never seen someone with that con much conviction <laughs> in their heart to immediately know, right as it ends, like, that was, yes, that was it. That was the best fucking movie I've ever seen. <laughs> that was it. That was, the best that was the best fucking movie I've ever seen. Um, but yes, Master Street Fighter, Castle in the Sky. It's like, it is the reason you ever fucking wanted to see a movie. Like, period. Um, fuck, it's so good. Anyways, um, so XF, I mean, like, there's like A-plus filmmaking, S-filmmaking, extra-special filmmaking. Like, it was the greatest movie till I saw Castle in the Sky, <laughs> and that's Princess Mononoke. Which is still probably is Princess Mononoke is a better written film, but Castle in the Sky is like the reason you see the reason you ever fucking watched a movie. Um, like I'll 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 admit like Princess Mononoke is absolutely a, a much better written, much more uh, thought provoking film. The one thing, the one fucking thing that I will say where people like. The villain is is too it's too black and white in 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 Laputa, Castle in the Sky. Like, oh, he's a shitty villain. Yeah, yeah, Miyazaki doesn't do traditional villains, but then he's got this really waste of a character. And I'm like, really? You've never seen an egotistical maniac racist in a position of power doing everything in, in his power to oppress all those beneath him, which he considers everyone. You've never seen that. Must I must have dreamt the last fucking four years of my life. <laughs> so, yeah, no one can complain about Mark Hamill's brilliant, 
Colonel Muska in the world we live in today. <laughs> Piss off with that attitude. <laughs> So that's excess. <laughs> yeah, Mark Hamill plays Colonel Moose Gun in Castle in the Sky. So that's excess. S tier. Mmm. This is hard. I'm putting this in here. I made such a fucking fit. I actually have this exact poster. Over there. <laughs> um, I remember I had to spend $50 for it straight from Japan. Uh, on your mark is the best music video I've ever seen. It's on Vimeo. No, it's not. Forget I said anything. But, uh, fucking amazing. Uh, I try not to watch that, but in English, oh, fuck, you're missing out on Mark Hamill, uh, Cloris, Cloris, Cloris Leachman, I forget how you, I forget her exact name, uh, Mandy Patikin, ah, too many, too much good stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, On Your Mark is... Hey, did you guys know that Hayao Miyazaki made a short film in a cyberpunk dystopian future? Yeah, he did. Uh, secretly, chat, uh, I have always, always wanted to one day cosplay as Taj and, Tajay and Asuka from On Your Mark with Max. Like, it's always been sort of... Uh, I always thought one day we'd, we'd cosplay these two at like a Comic-Con or something. It never happened, but I always wanted to do it. But that would require both of us to shave, and that's not happening at this point. I would shave I would shave to play one of the characters from On Your Mark, though. Fudge Nuggets. Um, I fucking love On Your Mark so much. God damn, it's so good. That was a trailer, and yeah, no. Uh, yes, but Hayao Miyazaki totally made a, a cyberpunk dystopian uh, short film. So good. All right, so S tier. What else is? What else is? Uh, I gotta have a Totoro in there. Totoro is the greatest film about nothing. That's it. How do you describe the plot of Totoro? Two girls move into a house in the countryside and they see shit. The end. <laughs> That's Totoro. Doo -doo. Totoro's about death. You know, you know Ghibli dispelled that myth. They directly were like, yeah, no, we've heard that. No, it's not. <laughs> Fox dub or Disney dub? I'm partial to the Fox dub. Well, they're technically they're both Disney. Disney can actually release both dubs now. They own both. Ha! <laughs> actually, no, they can't. They lost the distribution rights. They can't do shit. <laughs> Two girls meet a Totoro. <laughs> yeah, so what's it about? Nothing. It's about nothing. It's the greatest film about nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's S tier. Um... I have a really hard time saying anything lower than S. We're putting Nausicaa in here. I agree with Miyazaki that the ending sucks a bit. The ending's weak. But, damn, this movie's good. Hmm, and then after that... Fuck shit, man. This is a toss up, honestly. You can put both these films in the same fucking spot. Both Porco Rosso and Castle of Cagliostro are both fucking fantastic pieces of cinema. Uh, like, these two are on, like, on top of each other uh, as far as ranking goes. Nausicaa's fucking great. But it's got a much, obviously, a much longer, much better manga. Um, Porco Rosso is just fucking fantastic, start to finish. Um, damn, it's the first one in S tier on your mark. Uh, Porco's so fucking good. I can't even think of a single thing I don't like about any of these films. Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, 
Castle of Cagliostro is so good. There's so many fucking Resident Evil 4 things in Castle of Cagliostro. You watch that movie and you're like, Miyaza or I'm sorry, Mikami really liked Castle of Cagliostro, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Castle of Cagliostro has so many inspirational moments that RE4 has. It's nuts. Um... And then, I'm going to say Howl's down in here. I think Howl's is Max's favorite Miyazaki film, or close to his favorite. Maybe, me. I, I can't remember. I remember Max one time saying, like, he loves Howl's. Like, Howl's is, like, top, top tier for Max. I really like Howl's, too. Um, a little confusing, but even once you know it, it's still fucking good. Um... Wind Rises, super good. Obviously a little depressing, but it's still super fucking good. I don't know, the, these two are interchangeable as far as I'm concerned. Um, Howl's is more fun to watch, but I think Wind Rises is a little better writ is better written. So, however you want to do that. Um... Uh, definitely Kiki's definitely up here. Kiki's fucking great. Uh, it's a little bit like Totoro, where it's like, it's got more, way more plot than Totoro, but it's also kind of a story not about much of anything except growing up. Um, kind of meanders a bit. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the point. I don't know. Kiki's is, is super fucking good. There's nothing wrong with Kiki's. I can't even sit here and, what, what do you not like about Kiki's? Nothing. <laughs> Like, shit, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I don't know, just just not a film that I that I that I rewatch as much as the others. This is we're in the territory now of just like how how do you rank these films? How much I've seen how much I've rewatched them. <laughs> so it, it's kind of like uh, yeah, I don't I don't really have anything I, I can't say anything's really wrong with Kiki. I just I just haven't rewatched it as much as the other ones. Kiki is what slice of life should be. It is. It absolutely is. Yeah, there's none of these films should ever have a none of these films. The only film that should have a sequel is Nausicaa, and it should have a but it should be a remake and a sequel. They should put they should make a four film adaptation of the full manga. That's what that's what should be happening. Otherwise, nah, fuck all fuck sequels to any of these films. I mean, Lupin got, like, fucking 30. <laughs> Kiki's not impressive? Yes, it is. Kiki's fucking great. Uh, yeah, down here in B tier, I got Ponyo, which is a joy to watch, but it, it's a film made for five-year-olds. Like Miyazaki said, I didn't make this movie for everyone. I made this for five-year-olds. Uh, and it's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's a great film for five-year-olds, but I understand where he's just like, look, Totoro, or, or maybe, like, Kiki might be a film for everyone, but Ponyo was made for five-year-olds. Like, I made it for five-year-olds. I, I made it for all the five-year-olds of my, of my staff. Um... Captain Christian? Ah, I have no idea what you're talking about, Patrick. Uh, Spirit Away? It's down here just because I don't watch it as much as the other ones. It's fucking gorgeous. Uh, it's a great film. I've seen it in theaters many, multiple times. I just, I don't watch it as much as the other ones. Um, it's good. I, I mean, I couldn't couldn't sit there and tell you any. I couldn't dissect the film and say like, whoa, what's bad? What could be done better? Not much. Just, I don't watch it as much as the others. <laughs> just don't. When, I'm, when I look at all the Ghibli movies I want to watch again, and just, just not Spirited Away. Is just, just don't watch it as much as the other ones. It's the one I kind of rewatch the least. I don't have a problem with it. I just I don't watch it as much. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I want to watch the other ones more. Hmm. <laughs> 
No, <laughs> B tier is pushing it honestly. Like I don't even know that I I don't even know that B tier is honestly even good. It should be like A S S plus XS and MSF. Honestly. Honestly, watch Ponyo more. Yeah, there's 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 some fucking nutty visuals in Ponyo that I kind of like. There's some shit I like in it. I like Liam Neeson's performance. I like you know the the crazy dad. I, I I like I like the animation and like the nuttiness of the waves and shit. Uh, Ponyo is kind of like a better film to fucking fall asleep to. <laughs> Kiki is so boring. Get out of here. Kiki's great. <laughs> 